Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing meteor showers. What are they? How do you get them? What's the point? All of that good information. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new here because you do not want to miss out on any more amazing Animal Crossing content. So up until the other day, I had never had a meteor shower. I had never seen a shooting star on my island at all. I mean, not even once had I seen a shooting star. So if you haven't seen one yet, that is totally normal. Most people are coming at me asking, how do I get a meteor shower? And unfortunately, the answer is there's nothing you can do. They are totally random. There isn't something you do that sets it off on the system. They come on their own at random. Now, how do you know if you're going to have a meteor shower? There can be a couple of different ways that this can happen. So the first thing is when you turn on the game for the first time, Isabel might tell you that it's going to happen. There might be shooting stars, you'll see clear skies, look up at the sky tonight, different signals and different things that suggest that you are going to have a meteor shower. This is really your first sign that anything is going to happen, but some people have been saying that they're not getting this message and that can also be totally normal too. Sometimes when you log in, maybe Isabel just says her normal spiel or maybe you missed this message and you don't see it. So if you don't, talk to your villagers. Your villagers will actually tell you that it looks like a good night for stargazing or that the skies are really clear and they'll hint to you that there's going to be a meteor shower. Also, don't take Celeste as a sign that you're going to have shooting stars. All the times that I've had shooting stars or that I've seen shooting stars, I haven't seen Celeste that day. So she might not necessarily be there the day that you have shooting stars. Once you know that you have shooting stars, you'll go ahead and you'll look up at the sky and you want to be holding absolutely nothing in your hands. You'll hit the A button and when you do that, you will make your wish. Keep wishing away on all of those stars for as long as you can because there's a lot of great things that will happen when you wish on the stars and I will talk to you about that in a minute. But another one of the questions and one of the very first questions that I actually had about these shooting stars and the meteor showers is when you have them on your island or if a friend has them on your island, will it work if you visit them or they visit you? So yes, it will. Have all your friends come on over and have a stargazing party and that is exactly what I did. So I went ahead and I created a live event on this channel and I invited you guys over to wish on stars with me and you guys generously piled into my town and we wished together. So you can have as many people as your island can hold wishing on these stars all at the same time and you can do that sitting together, you can spread out all over your island, you can really do this however you want. For me, it was easiest to run over to this little open farm area that I created on my island. It was nice and quiet and dark, and we could fit a whole bunch of people in here. So that's kind of what we did. I think all of us ended up piling up in this little area. If you invite your friends over, you guys can just have a little party until you wait for some stars. So one of the things about stars is you might get two or three at a time, maybe four or five. They usually come back to back to back when you see them. But as you can see here, there is some downtime where there are no shooting stars and that is normal. So don't worry about it if you see four or five stars and then there's maybe five minutes or so in between the last star that you saw and the next one that's coming. Totally normal. If all of your friends are in your town, they might just start beating you up with all types of random tools as you wait. Clearly, they were all so grateful to be in my town today. <laughs> Once those stars start coming, you'll go ahead and wish on them and everybody along with you can go ahead and do that. So it's not like one person can wish on one star. Everybody can wish on the same star at the same time and it doesn't cause any issues at all. As long as everybody has a good internet connection, you don't have to worry about it messing up. Thankfully, we were all pretty lucky with our stars. We did end up getting a lot of stars. And it was super fun and super exciting to have all of my YouTube friends there and all of you guys on my island wishing on stars with me. 
If you do happen to have a meteor shower on your island or on somebody else's island and you can go and visit, try to wish on as many as you can. And this is because there's actually a Nook Mile achievement for this for 130 and 200 stars. Yes, 200 stars. It took me over two hours to get all of those. I'm not going to lie. Once you're done wishing on stars, you can log in the next morning and run along your beach. You will find several star fragments of all different kinds. So regular star fragments, you might find the large star fragments, as well as the zodiac sign. Depending on what part of the year you're in, you'll get different zodiac sign stars. If you are on somebody else's island, the stars will still fall on your island, and if somebody visits your island for wishing on stars, their stars will fall on their island. They don't need to come back to your island to pick up the stars. Another really important detail that a lot of people I don't think know is that the stars will fall on your island twice a day, as well as messages in a bottle. So run around in the morning, pick up all of your stars, pick up your message in a bottle, and then sometime in the afternoon, come back and do it all again, because you'll have even more stars later on in the day. After all of this was said and done, I got quite a few stars. I got 18 regular star fragments and then I got the Gemini fragments. I think I got about five of those and yeah, that was what I got and I honestly didn't wish on that many stars the night that we were doing this. Once you have that, you can go ahead and start making all of your different star fragment items and your items from Celeste that you've got through your DIYs and hopefully get some more star showers soon. Well guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have learned a little bit more about meteor showers and shooting stars and wishing on stars. And yeah, hopefully, if you haven't had one in your island, I hope that you have one very soon because they're super exciting and a lot of fun. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!